evaluating all alternatives, the project team found that the Central Central alternative was the most practical plan from a transportation service and cost perspective. This Central Avenue connector extends from 63rd Street on the north to State Road on the south and follows the center line of the existing Central Avenue. An underpass was found to be the most practical way of extending Central Avenue through the rail yards. Under this alternative, Central Avenue would be widened to two lanes of traffic in each direction. This video illustrates the basic concept for the Central Avenue connector. We begin our flyover of Central Avenue at State Road, heading north. As you can see, Central Avenue has been widened to two lanes in each direction and a median in between with turn lanes where needed. Between 77th and 79th streets, the nose end parking has been replaced with parallel parking. Sidewalks and bike lanes are provided on each side. Here we are looking at Kennedy Elementary School on the left and St. Lawrence High School on the right. Pedestrian safety is the focus of four design concepts being developed for this school campus area. These concepts will be shown in more detail later in the presentation. Also, IDOT is coordinating with Burbank on ways to direct truck traffic to Harlem Avenue and Cicero Avenue via 73rd Street instead of through the campus area. We are now entering the industrial park. Note that Central Avenue is bike lanes and sidewalks on each side. Most driveways would remain. Some driveways close to 73rd Street would be relocated or closed. North of 73rd, all bicyclists are directed to the side path and bike lanes are discontinued. New crossing gates and signals would be provided at industrial spur tracks. Just south of 70th place, Central Avenue dips below ground level, passing underneath the rail yards. A crash wall protects sidewalk users from traffic on Central Avenue. New rail bridges above and a well-lit tunnel under the hump and tower allow motors to travel through the rail yard. The tunnel is located just west of the hump, requiring a slight bow-shaped curve along Central Avenue. At the north edge of the yard, Central Avenue begins to rise. Frontage roads are provided along each side, allowing access to adjacent property. IDOT is coordinating access planning with Bedford Park. Central Avenue returns to grade just south of 65th Street. The bow-shaped curve ends just north of 65th Street, requiring acquisition of the two buildings on the west side of Central Avenue, north of 65th Street. Two design concepts have been developed for the portion of Central Avenue between 63rd and 65th Streets. In the concept shown, Central Avenue continues with two lanes in each direction and a median. The existing parking lanes would be removed and replacement parking would be provided in new off-street lots or on adjacent cross streets. Sidewalks are provided, but cyclists would be routed to adjacent side streets. A variation of this concept is to eliminate the median and continue the bike lanes. The project ends just north of 63rd Street. Drivers and cyclists are back to using the current road, and pedestrians are back on existing sidewalks. There are two areas where, due to unique conditions, different design concepts are being considered. Near St. Lawrence and Kennedy schools, and between 63rd and 65th Streets. Safety is of paramount importance to all roadway improvement projects. At the last public meeting, many commenters asked the project team to carefully consider safe access to the three schools near the intersection of Central Avenue and 77th Street, Jacqueline B. Kennedy Elementary School, St. Lawrence High School, and Queen of Peace High School. IDOT is considering four concepts to ensure the safety of children and teens who use this intersection. Three involve keeping the improved Central Avenue at ground level. The last concept being considered lowers Central Avenue through the campus area. The first concept consists of providing enhanced crosswalks with the latest crossing technology, including push-button requests for pedestrian traffic signals, high-visibility crosswalks, improved lighting, and mid-block pedestrian signals farther north on Central Avenue. Under this concept, and all of the concepts, crossing guards could still be used to help children cross before and after school. The next concept includes a wide, well-lit pedestrian underpass below the roadway, allowing students to cross without encountering traffic. The third concept includes a pedestrian overpass, allowing students to pass over the roadway. Due to the clearance requirements, the ramps for an overpass are much longer than for the underpass. This video illustrates the concept of lowering Central Avenue at the campus area. This is the most costly of all the concepts shown. Again, we begin our flyover of Central Avenue at State Road, heading north. Between 78th and 79th Streets, Central Avenue has been widened to four traffic lanes in a median, and the nose end parking has been replaced with parallel parking. Sidewalks and bike lanes are provided on each side. At 78th Street, Central Avenue begins to dip down. Because of that difference in grade, the 37 homes fronting Central Avenue between 78th and 77th Streets would be acquired. The vacated land would be used for new frontage roads connecting the campus area to 78th Street 
and a pump station and reconfigured sewer system to keep the lower roadway from flooding. Portions of this land could be redeveloped or converted to green space. Pedestrians and cyclists are accommodated both along the lowered roadway and at the current street level. New bridges for motorist and pedestrian use would be provided over Central Avenue at 77th Street. Kennedy School and District 111 parking lots would be reconfigured and a new frontage road provided just west of St. Lawrence High School. Central begins to rise just beyond the campus access drive. The intersection of 75th Place will be slightly sunken with Central Avenue back to its current level at the industrial spur tracks where the new crossing gates and signals would be provided.